The following is a presentation from PokerStars.com. For me, me. For me. For me, it started small. small. It started small. It started small. From pool halls in Toronto to poke rooms in Las Vegas. It's given me a life I never could, I have, never dreamed. could have dreamed. The game has taken me around the world. I've seen it all. From the Windy City to Sin City, this game can make you a legend. This game can make you a champion. It may have started small. It may have started but now. But now, but now, but now, it's the big game. This is the next generation. It doesn't, it get, doesn't get any bigger, bigger than, this. than this. This is the PokerStars.com Big Game. Welcome to Las Vegas, Nevada, and the newest big game in town. Alongside Joe Stapleton, I'm Chris Rose, and tonight some of the world's best are bringing over a half million dollars to the table in our state-of-the-art poker room. Daniel Negreanu, Kid Poker, has left the kid gloves at home. He brings with him instead $200,000. The Hall of Famer Doyle Brunson, a two-time main event winner, starts off with 100 k Phil Locke, the Unabomber cash game specialist, also brings with him $100,000. The Aussie. Poker media mogul Tony G starting off with $100,000 tonight. And in seat six, the poker brat Phil Helmuth. He's claimed he's reformed. Let's see what he does with his $100,000. And the final player at the table is 35-year-old Ernest Wiggins from Washington, D.C. As tonight's loose cannon, he's been staked 100 grand, and he's standing by with Amanda Leatherman. Ernest, how intimidated are you to sit down with some of the best players in the world today? Well, to be honest, I'm not intimidated at all. I'm actually grateful that I am, to be honest with you. Uh, it's, it's a lot of a lot of big names at the table right now, you know. But for anybody that's a, that's trying to come up in a poker game, like this is this is what you want. You want to sit down with the best because the only way to be the best is to beat the best. Of course. Now I hear that you're a big talker out there. <laughs> that's that table. That's a lot of big talkers. You gonna tone it down a bit? Uh, well, you know, I, I promised the, the person that taught me poker that I would try to keep it at a, at a nice tone. But if they, you know, somebody wants to jump out the window, they're like, yeah, we can have fun with it too. But, you know, I definitely stay on point, so it doesn't matter if I talk or not. All right, Ernest. Good luck today, okay? Thank, Thank you. you. Each loose cannon is staked 100 grand, and he keeps all profits above the initial $100,000. And at season's end, the loose cannon who's won the most money earns a North American Poker Tour passport worth 50000 You ready to go? Yeah, man, it's more. It's how E-Dub, it's E-Dub, cranking, about to man. double up. Let's get it going, baby. So is that nickname we're going with today, E-Dub? Uh, man, just call me E, you know what I'm saying? I feel like we're friends, I just call right. me E, yeah. Because I got a friend named E-Dog. E-Dog? Yeah. E-Dog is fellow poker pro Eric Lindgren, who's also Daniel's BFF. How much? 400. Strong starting hand for Ernest. Just calls. I'll let you live. I never like to win the first one. Phil Locke limps in with Jack 10. Jack 8 for Tony G. He calls as well. And a free look at the flop for Phil Helmuth. Our loose cannon playing his big ace pretty cautiously to start things off. Queen deuce tray. Check. Check by Tony G. Check by Helmuth. Check it. Ace high. Mr. Wiggins checks. That is 800. Phil Locke bets 800. Taking a stab at this in position. I'm gonna believe you got it, man, but eventually I'm gonna catch it, though. Did you hear that? <laughs> He's already on it. It's one hand deep. I'm already, I'm already gonna catch it, dog. There right, you go. See First pot's a rabbit. That was like uh -huh. a mini Helmy speech. I'll let you get me this time. Rabbit. I'll rabbit cam this one. So Ernest gives up his big ace. Oh, and he would have hit going? it. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Is that you? The ace was all you? Oh, yeah, I was on top of the ace for sure, though. For sure, though. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Come on. If, you know what I'm saying? If the upper cards was different sure. colors, then I probably would have been a little Dancing bit. a little bit? I I'd probably been more to dance a little bit. Good choice not to play it. Sage advice from a man who wants all your money. So Phil Locke takes the first pot of the night, and we take a look at the rules of the big game. Each table lasts exactly 150 hands. The action pre-flop is pot limit, then becomes no limit after the flop. Blinds are two and 400 with a $100 ante, all of which is paid by the player on the button. And every player begins with at least 100 grand, but can rebuy for up to $500,000. Tony G's on the button this hand. He's gonna handle that $600 ante for the table. I'm a loose cannon, but I'm not gonna jump out the window for sure. You know. We'll see. Wait, wait for 30 minutes to go, and you've got 70,000 70, there. Yeah. <laughs> then I'll jump out the window without even opening it first. First action on Daniel, who's got kings. Yeah. Raises to 1,200. Action folds around to Tony G. Ace nine, suited, makes the call. You like that button, huh? That's your favorite oh, thing. Well, I've, and I've got 600 in there. I mean, <laughs> right? <laughs> How can I fold? 
Well, Phil Helmuth is folded on over to the loose cannon. Ooh, big hand for Ernest. How much more? 800 $800. Two very big hands early in this okay. game. We could see a lot of money go in here. A raise. A raise? Um, That's music to Daniel's ears. Okay, let's just make it 25. To 3700 25 more? Can't tell from here, Daniel's licking his lips. I'm gonna raise the pot. Daniel raises to 13,100, that gets Tony G to fold. 13-1. What's got a big hand, Dan, huh? You got a big hand? I really do. So let's do it, let's gamble. Yeah, man. I'll gamble with the cannon one time. Hey, yeah, let's do it. Ernest just makes right. the call. Let's gamble, says the guy with pocket kings. I see what, I will check to you, Daniel. Okay, yeah, I'm probably gonna bet you, just saying. You're gonna, gonna fire out off the flop. Wow. Ernest is checked in the dark, Daniel will be first to act. Six five seven on the flop. No help to Ernest Wiggins. It's usually my neighborhood over there, but <laughs> I don't got none of that. The way the betting went pre-flop, nothing scary about this board for Daniel. He's gonna fire. 18. 18. Bet of eighteen thousand by Negranu. I said I wouldn't show my hand. <laughs> I said I wouldn't show my hand. So I wouldn't show my hand. Good fold from the amateur who manages to avoid jumping out the window so far. <laughs> what did you have, Daniel? Did you have a pair? I had. At least that. I had at least that. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> you have to wait to see it on TV. Yeah, I had a pretty good hand. I had a good hand, though. Ace King? Maybe. I don't know. He had two kings. Come on. He had two kings. If I see this hand on TV, uh -huh. and if we just had the same hand, which I folded, yeah. I'm going to fly the vase, and you know what? I'm going to take you out, man. Because for you to get <laughs> right. off that hand. If, if, I, if I didn't have you beat there, I'll take you out for drinks. Yeah. That'll work. Daniel, that Ace I'll King? I'll side bet he had kings. You guys want a side bet? Yeah, I, I know you had ace kings. I bet two kings. I bet kings. I had ace nine of diamonds. Wow. Mm -hmm. You would have gotten it all in. We do have a poker game going on, and the action will start with Doyle eventually. I think you had ace kings. Well, I mean, you want to bet five? What do you think I had, huh? Did you show a, did you show a card? I showed a king. Oh. I looked at one, I didn't look at the other one. Tony G thinks I had ace king. He thinks I had two kings. I think you had ace king. She, she let, Amanda agrees with you, Tony. She thinks I had ace king too. Bill, three bets to 4,500. Sure he can't lie to us because we'll see it. How much did he make it there? You want to tell us. Huh? And another nice hand for the loose cannon. I'm getting like the bomb hands right now. Okay, I'll, I'll bet you 500. What do you have? You have kings and he has ace king? I t I'm the one who wanted to bet the kings. <laughs> so you think I had ace king also? The loose yeah. cannon gives it up. You did. I did, just because you said so. <laughs> okay. Ernest ditches another big ace, and Helmuth rakes a nice pot without even seeing a flop. Good read. We'll wait till the uh, Stick you in this game. hands over. You got ace king, Daniel? You want me to tell you guys right now? No, so, I mean, it's not gonna be big I mean, I'll wait till later to collect. <laughs> I will forget. How much did you bet? 500. Okay, shipping $500. Can we get a Ship doll 500? Yeah. You had kings? I had kings, sorry. Even our hostess is out 500 bucks. But Doyle picks up some spare change, and he didn't even play a hand yet. Don't go anywhere. We're just getting started. Welcome back to Las Vegas, home of the big game. The loose cannon this week, Ernest Wiggins. He is getting staked 100 grand to take his shot against some of the biggest guns in poker. And this 35 year old is certainly feeling loose. I'm your man, Ernest Wiggins from Washington, D.C. But I'm also known as DC, E double, E dub, Tennessee, Fly, Quay. That's more, that's more for the ladies. Boo. I just forgot my own name. June Bug. I'm about to email the rest of them to y'all. I, I, yeah, I had to email the rest of them to y'all. Yo, I've been playing poker about four years. You know, it was crazy. Like, I started dating this lady, and I saw her playing poker online. I was like, give me that. I want to learn that game. So she sat down with me, and she taught me the, she taught me the concept of the game. Then she taught me the rules of the game. It was crazy. It was like, Phew. I mean, it was just like, it was almost felt like I was in the matrix of poker. And then when I got that concept, it was just like, mm. okay. The thing that made me good at poker is the fact that I'm able to read my opponents well. I'm able to play my cards well. I'm the underdog, okay? You, I'm sitting at the table with nobody but pros, you know what I mean? When you look at me, the first thing you're gonna say is, who is that dude right there? And I am that dude from D.C. You play poker, I'm representing you right now. 
You know what I'm saying? So I'm part of the home team. I'm part of your home team, and I don't even know what home you in. This is Ernest Wiggins. Washington, D.C. is in the building. You already know my nicknames. You already know what I do. My goal is to extract. That's what I'm doing. That's why I come to the big game, because I'm trying to get big money. You know what I'm saying? The only way I'm going to get big money is to play the big players. And when I play the big players, I'm going to get the big tips. That's what it is, because it's the big game, baby. <laughs> I don't know. Chris and I just want to wish the best of luck to D.C., E-Double, E-Dub, Tennessee, Quay, Bly, Boo, and Junebug. Good luck, everyone. He could fill his own poker table with all his personalities. This is, man, this is cool as hell, man. This is so cool. Like, I thought, like, I really expected, like, a lot more, you know, like, man, I don't know. I don't want to say pressure, but a lot more. Yeah. You know, look. Intense, like, seriousness. Intense, that's a good word. We're going to have some fun. You'll get your money in, and you'll have a shot, and you'll have a shot to win some money. Man, I'm already here right now. Action on Tony G. Folds, as does Phil Helmuth. Oh, this guy's getting monster hands. And the LC from DC has picked up AA. Can make it. Ernest raises Sorry to 2,000. Daniel Folds. Doyle with the Brunson hand. Too early for that. Lock folds as well. Too big a raise. A big splash can chase away even the sharks. Oh, man. The one time I wanted some action, too, man. <laughs> you want bet 500 for this hand? What you had? Hey, they got maybe 500 first of all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got to be curious about it. We can't it, though. bet against you. You know what you have. What, do you, what are you saying you had? I had something big, man. <laughs> Give me $500. I'll tell you what I had, man. Two nines? Give me $200. I'll tell you what I had. <laughs> we know we don't need you. You got to show it. And it's going to be on tape, too? You can't beat that. And then when you see it, you can be like, yo, you know what? That man, he's a good man with his word, yo. He told us the truth. It's a good thing I didn't go crazy with the 10 deuce. You had it again? Oh, wow, Dora. So far, Ernest Wiggins is getting hit by the deck, but has very little to show for it. And Joe, the loose cannon told us the most he's ever won or lost in a single cash game is $1,200. So this is really uncharted territory for him. That's right, Chris. Just to put that in perspective, one round of blinds and antis in this game is equal to the biggest session of E-Dub's life. That's the kind of money you win in a 1-2 game, and so far it shows. When he's weak, he looks and acts weak. When he's strong, he looks and acts strong. If Ernest doesn't get more creative and specifically more aggressive, when the rest of these guys get a read on him, it's going to be open season on Ernest. Are we, are we all doing straddles or something? I don't know. We can if we want, sure. Usually uh, give the game time to breathe like a good bottle of wine. Tell me if here's the word wine, his ears perk up. <laughs> Action folds around to Tony G. Ace five off suit, a raise to 1,200. Pocket nines for Phil Helmuth. He calls. Sentimental hand for Mr. Helmuth. That's the hand with which he won the World Series main event back in 1989. Well, if I was Tom Juan, I would really play that. Here you go. Ernest Folds. He loved the tango. Check. You checking already? Uh, check. Helmuth checks in the dark. Four, five, six on the flop. I check. Tony G checks with fives. That's a dangerous flop. King of diamonds on the turn. Phil's nines are still best. Tony's picked up the nut flush draw. Bets 1,000. I better make it 2,000. Check raise for Helmuth to 2,000. Just two, yeah. I raise the pot. And Tony G says, I'll make it nine grand. This is a decent sized three bet. Doubling the size of the pot, but since his hand really isn't made yet, I bet this size is intended to try to get Phil to fold rather than to extract value. Was 9, Phil checks him again. Yep, still nines. What are you feeling, Phil? Tony's poking the poker brat. <laughs> Feeling it? You got me covered. Tony G's trying to rep a big hand with all this talk. Doesn't look like Phil's buying it. Helmuth makes the call. What do you need? I need a diamond. What do you need? You know what I need. It's a queen of clubs on the river. Check by Helmuth. Okay. Check by Tony G. That's good. He doesn't lose with that hand. That's the Helmuth special. The sick thing is I was rooting for him about 25,000 on the river. 
Just so I could snap call, yeah. I would have, if you get there. <laughs> Just so I could snap call, and then I was going to make some loud I proclamation. Love it, love it out. <laughs> I was going to make some loud proclamation about how you better not try to bluff me today. But now Give I you the whole speech. You can't make that. I can't make the proclamation. I, I would have moved all in if the right cat came, and you wouldn't have known. So. Yeah, well, that's true. If you'd have moved all in, you'd be stacking them. Yeah. <laughs> That was fun. Two nines held up. Maybe I called Durr for 120,000 with bottom pair. He had top set. Sick brag, Phil. Doyle, not much to play so far. You see that one, Dolly? Huh? Durr had like top set. I called 120,000 on the river with bottom pair. Phil Locke raises to 1,200. I thought I played it really well. Really? I don't think so. <laughs> I think you wanted to move like you want to make a big raise there. <laughs> on TV, you mean? I, no. On TV, yeah, it was oh, yeah. televised. Tell me his calls with King Queen, suited connectors for the loose cannon. He's in as well. Not many, huh? And so's Negranu. Four players on the flop. Ten, nine, eight. Everybody has a straight draw except for Phil Locke, who pairs his tens. Even Locke does have a backdoor straight draw as well. Action checks to Locke. That's three thousand. Helmuth makes the call. Phil's got two over cards and a gut shot draw. Ugh. Loose cannon gets rid of it, as does Negranu. Helmuth is really only looking for a jack here. This is a draw heavy board. Pairing up could make Locke's hand. Five of diamonds on the turn. Locke checks. Locke is still best with his two tens. Checked by Helmuth. King on the river. Very bad card for Helmuth, who's now made top pair. 14,200. Lock bets 14,200. Phil Lock with top two pair. 14,200 is more than the pot. It's an over bet, which usually means extreme strength or weakness. Helmuth has to wonder if Lock is trying to milk him a bit or if he's trying to buy it. Either way, an over bet can confuse the Helmuth out of your opponent. <laughs> if we go back a bit, Lock let out on the flop with three people still to act behind him. This is usually an indication of strength. In this case, Lock's over bet is not a bluff. He's, in fact, punched a first-class ticket to Value Town. Let's see if Helmuth climbs aboard. Oh, my God. Really? The sick thing is you could be, you could be like Value betting King Jack, which is no good. But that's about all I can beat, I guess. I know what Phil has. <laughs> <laughs> good lay down. Uh, Jack seven, Showing one. bluffs is really good for the game, Mr. Locke. Sure. If you could show Charles one that would cut. juice him. Did you just fold king high? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Folded kings with a queen kicker, man. Not a bad chunk of change for Phil Locke as he wins 25,600. No, I mean, I, I thought a king or a queen, I thought a king was a great card for me. Then he read through his soul, knew he hit it, had it. A great lay down from Phil Helmuth, who's more famous first folds than the overnight shift at the Gap. Well, the big game never closes its doors. We're back with more after this. We are back in Las Vegas, Nevada, home of the big game, the newest high stakes poker cash game around. We have got five outstanding poker pros joined by our loose cannon, 35-year-old Ernest Wiggins from Washington, D.C. So basically like a third of the hands here. Phil Locke, 10-7 suited. It's Daniel Negrano's favorite hand. Now Locke limps in, as does Helmuth, Jack High. Ace deuce for the loose cannon, Ernest Wiggins. He makes the call, as does Daniel. And Doyle's gonna get a free look at the flop. Limpy, limpy. Party of five. Six ace jack, top pair for Ernest Wiggins. And the nut flush draw. Goes check, check, check over to Helmuth. That's 1,800. All right, how much? 1,800. Good spot for Ernest to raise here. You know it's rough in the boat. I take a deep breath to say how much it is, right? <laughs> 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 I like that little post. <laughs> Instead, Ernest just calls. Daniel and Doyle fold, as does Locke. Top pair of aces and a flush draw is a pretty strong hand. Ernest may have missed an opportunity to build himself a pot. 
Queen of Diamonds on the turn. Checked by Phil. You checked to me. Did you? Yeah. I think you have a flush draw. Oh, man. No, but I respect Four you even eights. just checking. That's all right, though. Man, I'm going to shake your hand just <laughs> off of that alone. Yo, yo Phil, Harold, Phil <laughs> checked to me, yo. Like, <laughs> on national TV. Oh, that's, 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 millions of Americans. Good check, man. Cool, man. No spade. <sighs> check back at you. Three of diamonds oh, on the river. 400. Phil oh, makes it 400. Good. I will call you four. I have an ace. That's mm -hmm. good. <laughs> oh, he did have a flush draw. <laughs> I did have a flush draw. <laughs> Dang, I had a jack. You didn't want to move in with that? Wow. Nice. Oh, man. E-Dub pulls in 7K, but who knows how much more it could have been. Ah. Uh, you know, you, thank you, see, Dill. Thank you, Dill. That's my baby there. So Ernest gets a little bit of it back, but it is Daniel Negrano who leads the pack as most of it came courtesy of the loose cannon a few hands ago when Daniel held kings. Ernest is in an early hole as he tries to get back to even. And a quick reminder, at the end of 150 hands, the loose cannon will have the option to either keep any profits over 100 grand or come back just once to try and increase his stack to put him in better position to win the NAPT Passport. Everybody got a little fill in them. A lot of us get rid of it by the time they're seven or eight years old, but. <laughs> that was good. You're learning. You're getting some good counseling, bud. <laughs> your counseling's well, you working. I can make fun of myself a little bit? Come on now. You're, you're discovering yourself, but that's good. You're getting self-aware now. All right, I need to, um. You, you, were you working out, you might not be as good at poker as you, as you believed, right? I need a limp in. Limpy. I think most people lose their little fill along with their baby teeth. Doyle finally has a hand to chew on. Pocket tens are raised to 1,900. Lock folds. Got the devil. How much is that? 19. Okay. Just because it's Doyle, I want to play with it. Expect to see a lot of that here in the big game. There's ego as well as cash at stake here, and these guys love to mix it up with each other. You've got 100 there, Dal, or what? It's got 100. Yeah, maybe this is a good time to squeeze here. Test it out. Test the waters. Test the water. I think you're just thinking about calling. I should squeeze, really. Squeeze. I've never seen a guy squeeze after like they make the announcement of this would be a good time to squeeze in 10 years of cards <laughs> at this point. <laughs> I'm going to do that move someday. Yeah. Will you call eight more? Yeah, I'll call eight more. If I make the announcement. Will you call 10 more? Uh, I think we're getting out of hand now. Let's just play the hand. <laughs> call the 15 or fold. That's your two options. No, oh, right. then what are you talking about? Rice, go for it. Make it happen. Actually, it's three-handed, so you probably shouldn't be killing uh, the... He started the talking. He started it. <laughs> You're threatening. Pull the trigger. Okay, I raised 10,000 more. Wow, that's a first. Right, yeah, that is a first. 10. Can he raise 10? Total about 84. It'll be 84 total. Remember, it is pot limit pre-flop. These guys shouldn't talk about the squeeze with Doyle still know. in the hand, which, by the way, is just another raise after yeah. there's already been a raise and a call. Now, even though Phil is three bet here, everyone is so deep stacked that even if Phil's got aces or kings, Doyle is actually getting the right odds to try to hit his 10, and he makes the call. As a poker spectator, I'd like to say, I like the way this hand is This is developing. gonna be a fun hand. <laughs> we got a fun hand going on here. A lot of crazy talk. Decision time for Tony G. I just wanna be in a pot. I, I can't say no to this pot. Remember everything I just said about Doyle having the right odds to call? Well, same thing for Tony G, except the exact opposite. This man clearly hates money. <laughs> no, he doesn't. How about trip jacks for Tony G? Apparently, he's clairvoyant. I check. A check by Tony. Bill go. checks. You hit it that good? Very sneaky, Tony. Sure, Doyle thinks he's best here. The odds of flopping trips are less than 2%. He bets 18,000. Bet is 18,000. Bet 18. Tony G makes call. the smooth call. Now you can move in. Be the hero. More trickery from Tony G. Actually, Phil moves out. Heads up. As you can see, Doyle is drawing dead. I, I'm all in, whatever comes. You're all in now? Yeah. I'm all in. He's all in, in the dark. Tony G all in, in the dark. Tony G has just bet a brand new Jaguar without even seeing the next card. This has got to arouse some suspicion in Doyle, possibly confuse him even. A king on the turn. Come what might. That's commitment to the game. 
Tony's played this hand so straightforwardly. It's befuddled Doyle. I have three jacks. I'm all in. It's like a double reverse bluff. I love the game so much. Absolutely love it. I guess you got me covered, huh? Probably not. So you just came in and hit a jack, right? Instead of the two eight you got. Doyle trying to convince himself he's got Tony beat. Oh, you got Doyle two tens? You got it. You got two tens? Yeah. Just because Tony's right doesn't mean you are, Doyle. I just don't believe you got it, buddy. There he goes. Two tens is very bad. Bad. You're drawing dead to two yeah. tens. Oh, what a disgusting Jeez. feeling. I knew it. Reload. How sick is that? And Tony G will double up. I had it like I guessed his hand, too. Because he said two eights, I guess. No, no, you've got, you've got some chips. That was a good read. He's got like 70. How much you got? I lost. I lost nine. I bluffed Phil. It didn't work. <laughs> At least he didn't have aces, right? I'm going to clean you out. I'm not going to clean you out, baby. I'm going to do it to you. Buddy, I'm going to wipe you out. Keep sticking 8,400 in with jack 10 off so when you're I will do it on 100 <laughs> stack. When, when it's 8.4% of your stack, that's a six, it's not even like 6%. I would have busted you. Don't worry. You would have busted me? <laughs> you feel good. I love you. You're the best, Phil. You guys are the best. I have to clean you out every time I play with you. I love it. Oh, I'm going to put you so badly. I hope you got lots of rebounds. You're, you're, you're the worst player at the table. You don't I even love know it. to be the worst player. That's why I, I have love. the most fun. You're so bad. You don't even understand it. I'm so happy to be so bad. So happy to be so lucky too. I think. I love the game. I'm bad. Yeah. Doyle goes back to the Brunson Bank to reload. You put ten thousand in there with the jack ten. You need to be paid off. We'll see if Doyle can get some cash back when the big game continues. Tony G, I've played with him a few times. In a lot of ways, he reminds me of me, the way he thinks about the game, very clumpish. Something about his style, I think, uh, fits right into the cash games. Tony G's a, a wild card. If he starts losing a couple pots, you know, boom, smoke might start coming out of the ears and he might open up his game. Because Tony G is seeing double, at least a double up. He bought in for a hundred grand. He is up over a hundred thousand. People love playing with Tony G because he's not afraid to gamble and he's always got plenty of cash. Action will begin with Doyle Brunson, who just reloaded for a hundred k. Yeah, you will go, but I mean, it's it's all. Gets rid of Jack High. Phil Lock pocket tens. Be careful. We saw what happened with Doyle last hand. Raises to twelve hundred. Queen rag for Tony G. 35. Makes it 3,500 to go. I guess we know the G stands for gamble tonight. You're going to have to start coming over the top here. Phil calls with ace five Otherwise suited. You're going to get whittled away. That makes it so interesting for me, man. That's the idea. <laughs> wow, man. It's like, I just have to call, don't even have a hand because there's a lot of money. Easy lay down for Ernest. Daniel gets out of the way as well. Are you going to play sooner or later? Uh, uh, I mean, I'm in there, it's, you know. I ain't scared to start with the big dogs. You know, I'm mm -hmm. having fun right now, man. Right? I hear you. How much is that part right there? It's pot limit pre flop. Locke contemplating a four bet with his tens. Uh, 12. So. You? <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking. I'm not, I'm not like going to just get out of the hand if you feel right the pot. Phil calls. I mean, I, I just want to make it clear, you know. I'm not going to call 1,200 and then fold. We saw that with the 10 jack. The flop, do seven queen, top pair for Tony G. Keep it friendly. Keep filling the two fills. Somehow Tony G outflops tens yet again. And he has bet 3,000. Yeah, do seven. A sore winner continues poking at Helmuth. Phil folds. We're going to start giving Academy Awards every hand. And the other Phil folds. That's better. That's who he has. Best actor, best supporting actor. <laughs> you can see the, the top card. <laughs> top card, yeah. Good lay down from Locke, who gets rid of it with only one over card. Says it's an honor just to be nominated. I played this. I played so bad. I could have had a queen. You got to give me some credit. Not really. Not with the four spades. I played bad, too. I should have just re-raised. Tony only showed him the four. I should call. I think I have to call. I'm just trying to give my money to Tony G today. It's a Tony G show. <laughs> Welcome to the Tony G Show, where we just trickle our money or lump it off to his stack. Dribble away. When I hit, that's when you want to play. 
if I hit something big, that's when you want to push it. And I'll, I'll make it get it all in. <laughs> I would watch the Tony G show as long as there's no monologue. Huge late night ratings over in Australia. I can see it all. Action begins on Phil Locke. About three thousand. Gets rid of his hands. I gotta talk guys out of fun. I'm, I'm probably gonna quit in about two hands if I keep doing that. Tony G races to a thousand. Ace Jack suited. Helmuth folds. The loose cannon makes the call. I'm calling a re-raise. Daniel folds. There you go. I'll give you a blind one. A couple. As does Doyle. Tony Gamble tossing out 2,000 in the dark. You got a blind bet. He doesn't need to see the cards. That's all you're going, man. The flop, queen five, king two pair for the loose cannon. Action on Ernest since Tony G bat in the dark. I've hit that big. I'm all in. <laughs> what? Wow. You're, you're all in? Apparently, yes, slow play is not one of Ernest's nicknames. <laughs> I love it. I love this show. <laughs> I love it. I love you, baby. Tony G's all, I'll give you a 2,000 bet. How about this? Someone. Eat some of that, cuz all of it. What? I feel like just paying you off, like just giving you a chance. That's what's up. I was <laughs> show me one card. <laughs> show me one card. No. Nah. Do, do it to me. Just show me one card. No. Nah. I'll, I'll pay you if you show me one card. If I like it, I'll pay you. No. Nah. If I like it, I'll pay you. <laughs> <Nah. laughs> one card. Go on. No. Nah. I'll yeah, show you one. We will show you two soon as soon as you are. Uh, if you right, fold, I fold. Nah. You said you no. I said I'll show you one. I just said that. You said you're going to show me two. That's if you call. Yeah, if, I, if you call, I'll show you two. Oh, he said he'd show you two. Man, yo, <laughs> yo, yo, my folks told me not to show, you know, see, they just already told me not to show any cards. I bet you this is a race. <laughs> it's Fox, I'm going to show it because it's you. I know it's a race. I know you got a draw. I reckon you got... Okay. I reckon you got, like, a nice high flush draw. Okay, I reckon you'd be wrong. Yeah, you way wrong. And Ernest <laughs> shows the king. But I had outs, right? Uh, can, can we rabbit I hunt? Can this this is very good to rabbit hunt. This is very good to rabbit hunt, he says. Wow. Oh, I win. I win, right? You win with what? You don't win. <laughs> what, what do you got? I would have won. But what? You make an ace. He's got that beat. I had two picks. I had your beat. Really? King Queen. Yeah. King Queen. Of course he had two pair. I'm going to lie on TV. That's my job. <laughs> He's a loose cannon, but he ain't that loose. Ain't that loose, man? Well, that win gets Ernest closer to even, and so far the loose cannon's holding his own. More big game when we come back. Welcome back to the big game. As action unfolds, we'll get as much player insight as possible. And right now, Amanda's with Phil Helmian. All right, Phil, what are your impressions of this table so far? <laughs> I'm having a ball. I'm having a ball. I mean, I think our, I think our qualifier's pretty good. Uh, Tony G's just dangerous, but it's crazy. Yeah, and and you know, and so I like playing with uh, Doyle and Daniel. They're just tough. All right. Well, good luck. You and Daniel try and play nice, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Daniel and I never have a dispute. <laughs> what happened now? Are we getting in a fight again? No, no, no. They didn't ask me about that. She said, she just said you and Daniel should play nice at the end of the interview. We are playing pretty nice. <laughs> you are. Yeah, we're, it's not going to stay that way. Wait till I beat him a hand and he starts calling me they. He's like, they, they, they just keep calling me. They just keep raising me. They. My name is Daniel. Nice to meet you, Phil. I'm not they. I don't know who they is exactly. The Northern Europeans or whatever. I'll tell you With one thing. I bring the best up, Daniel. The, his best stuff. His best <laughs> material. My best lines? Yeah, of course. <laughs> you make it you easy know for that. Me. Yeah, you know sure. that. Yeah. Tony G, when we're three-handed, don't be doing the, what, the, 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 the BS and the talking. Kick it in two-handed. Three-handed okay. is... Okay. I'll, when it comes I'll queen, know. seven, deuce... I mean, he has two fours. I've tried to bluff him like a bunch of times. And he, he just keeps calling me with fours. So, I mean. He's a hold on artist. I saw him call 11, 10,000 with Jack Kai just recently. That's why I had to call him with, uh, that's why I had to call him with the nines. Yep. Yep, that was good. Bill limps well, in. I, just, I felt like maybe he had. So does the loose cannon. As does Daniel. Doyle, ace seven suited. Gets a free look at the flop. You did. You did the right thing. God, I love you won the pot, too. For once. You, you avoided any bad cards. Trey 9-9, nine, nine, two hearts on the flop. Huge flop for Helmu. Three nines. Doyle Brunson has, however, flopped the nut flush draw. Negranu checks. Brunson checks. Helmu checks. Setting a trap. Check. And the loose cannon checks. Seven of spades on the turn. Doyle's now got a pair of sevens to go along with his flush draw. Negranu leads out 1,500 with a gut shot straight draw. Doyle calls. 7,000. A raise to 7,000 by Phil Helmuth. No more slow playing for Phil in this hand. Ernest folds. One down. Daniel Two folds. Down. So does Doyle. With a paired board, a flush draw is potentially drawing dead. Doyle lets it go. Phil Helmuth, taking the money. 
you have like A7 or something? That's what I had. You had A7? With hearts. Wow. And Phil rakes in a decent pot. With hearts? You had A7 hearts right there? Yeah, I don't like drawing the flushes with pairs on the board. I know, I hate that when you get there and it's like you're, you were never had a shot. Tough night so far for Doyle, who's stuck over a hundred grand. You had the A7 of hearts, Dolly? I had the A7 of hearts, Phil. Why would I lie after I threw my hand away? <laughs> <laughs> That's my department, you know? It was a it was very, very good lay down, sir. Tony G is limped in. Doyle can now retire that he's been cool. complimented by the great one, Phil Helmuth. Ernest Wiggins limps in with an itty bitty pair. Action folds over to Doyle, who makes the call. Pocket Rockets for Phil Locke. Phil Locke has Pocket Rockets right in his last name. Very good. This is definitely a time for a min raise. Raised 800. Pocket seven. Tony G pocket calls. So does the loose cannon, and so does Doyle. <laughs> you know, in general, you might want to raise more with pocket aces. It's not the kind of hand you want to be playing against multiple opponents, as you can see against three other people. He's only a 55% favorite. Six queen tray. Doyle checks. How much is in the middle? Oh, it's not, now it's no limit, right? Yeah, post is no limit. So it's eight times four is 32, plus six is 38. I will bet 34. Bets 3,400. That gets Tony G out of here. A, a better odd number to bet with. It's going to be like 44,444 or something like that. Curtis Folds. He, you hear what he just said? 44-4? Yeah, that's my number. He everything, because I know that's a that's like a Phil Lock. That's like a big percentage Phil bet. Uh, well, I watched a little bit too here now and then, man. Yeah, know. you got it. That's him, 44-4. Doyle knows his five high is no good at the moment, but he does have an up and down straight draw. His hand is well disguised. If he makes it straight, there's a chance Phil may not catch on. Doyle does make the call. So we go from four players on the flop down to two players on the turn, which is king of clubs. Doyle checks. Phil's feeling pretty confident after a call and then a check that his hand is still best. A good time for a value bet. How's 7,400 sound? Sounds like a value bet to me. Let's see how it sounds to Doyle. We know that Ernest folded two deuces, which are two of the outs that Doyle would need to make it straight, so he's drawing even slimmer than he thinks. Texas Dolly is no Texas dummy. He is out. Rabbit hunt. Let's rabbit hunt that. That's it. That was it. Whatever you say, Doyle. I got there. Phil got there a while ago. Phil Locke picks up another nice pot, and Doyle misses once again as he continues to come up empty. More of the big game when we come back. Welcome back to the PokerStars.com big game. We've played about 30 of the 150 hands so far. Action begins on Phil Locke. Ace eight off suit. Gets rid of it. Tony G. Whatever happens in the pot, you just make it 1,500. Limping time. in with 10 high. Phil Helmuth folds. King four suited for the loose cannon Ernest Wiggins. On the button makes the call. I remember that day in commerce where you just told everyone, I'm not going to look at my cards and I'm going to always min raise. And the second one of you raises me, I'm going to look at my cards. But I'm going to do that for <laughs> the, I'm going to bet the minimum or the min raise. That was fun. Till the end of the, and you did it for like five hours. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm looking thinking. That's, I, that's my game. I, I mean, that's that's the game I play with. Oh, my, that was at Bellagio. Was it the Bellagio? One time I did at Bellagio. I killed the game. Yeah, I'm, 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 you bet every street in the dark okay. until someone minimum. raises. I mean, yeah, yeah. And if they raise, you were like, okay, now I'm going to punish you by looking at my cards. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel and Doyle have also joined the party. Ace 4 10, top pair for Daniel. Like he checks. Doyle checks. I got mad. Tony G out. leads out with 1,000. Not quite the flop I needed, baby. The loose cannon folds. Daniel calls. And Doyle's out of here. Daniel happy to keep the pot small at this point with a weak kicker. <laughs> Another ace on the turn, giving trip aces to Negranu. Slow plays it with a check. Giving Tony another chance to fire at it, and fire he does. A bet of 4,000. Very hard to put your opponent on having an ace when the second one peels off on the turn. It's a call by Negranu. Daniel just calls. He knows Tony's likely to keep firing. The river card gives Daniel a full house. 
And he checks. Daniel thinks his hand is good. He's hoping Tony will fire again. Okay. He doesn't. I have a full house. Full house good. <laughs> Negrano takes down a pot worth 12,200. <laughs> Tried to set the trap, but Tony G didn't take the bait. Throughout the big game, we'll see specific stats that illustrate player tendencies. And at this point, Joe, the aggression factor seems particularly interesting. A player's aggression factor applies to post-flop action. It's defined as bets and raises divided by calls. We've got a small sample size, but so far we see that Tony G is 15 times more likely to bet or raise than he is to just call. And Joe, I think that Daniel was hoping that was gonna follow suit last hand. So far, Tony is the most aggressive player at the table post-flop. He just didn't happen to bite on the river. And we'll follow stats like these all season long here on the big game. Action begins with Daniel. Folds. So does Doyle. He lives right down the street from me. For Mayweather lived right next to him. Talking about boxing champion Floyd Money Mayweather. He did a lot of partying. He did? Let's say he goes to the club after every fight. Min raise for Phil Locke. Tony G calls. So does Phil Helmuth. So too does our loose cannon. When I won my 11th bracelet, we went out, and he was in the next booth. How many bracelets do you have? 11? All right, never mind, Daniel. Let's just reset. What, that wasn't a good needle? Come on, That now. was good. He <laughs> in 11, he did, the, he did the name drop and the, the number drop in the same sentence. drop and the number drop. That's, that's you forgot valid. to weave in the jet drop on that. You're supposed to say, I flew to the club in my private jet. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Don't good point. Yo. First bracelet match and took 56 minutes. I'm supposed to call it that. As you can see, everybody whiffed on the flop. Tony G takes a stab at it I got you, baby. and ends up paying off. Got Jack Kai? No, no, better, much better. Much, much better. I had one of the best hands I've had. One card. It was good. You can choose one card. I, oh, this no, no, this one, I can't, I can't, I can't. He I said you could. He said I you said could. I can't. Now, now you said I accepted your offer before you declined. You it. Yeah, you did accept an offer. Okay, you can see it for 100. No, no, no. no, no. Wait a minute, he said you, you can, can see, see both. Said you can see one. You're not a man of your word. You're a man of your word. I can't do it, I can't do it. You're a man of your word, Tony. That looks bad, kid. Wow, that does look bad for you. I accepted your offer before you pulled it back. It was too late, you have to say it, you have to open it. No, I reached, that was a body language, yes. I simply changed my mind. Pull the plug. Through 32 hands, Tony G's aggression continues to pay off as he's the big winner tonight, while Doyle has not been as fortunate. The loose cannon, Ernest Wiggins, is down 13,000. And remember, he needs to get into the profits category if he wants to keep any of the cash. Ernest has 118 more hands to go, and these guys are not going to make it easy. All right, guys, that was the last hand of the night. As expected, lots of fireworks with you crazy people. Yeah. Phil, are you going to behave tomorrow? I'm gonna try my hardest to behave. I was good, man. No, he's been pretty good so far, but it's early in the show. Wait till he loses about 30, 40,000. <laughs> Smoke. All right, we'll come back tomorrow night to see if he's telling the truth, because I don't know. I'm Amanda Leatherman saying goodbye for now. And remember, if you've got the cash and the guts, there's always a seat open at the big game. See you next time. For Joe Stapleton, I'm Chris Rose. We will see you next week from Las Vegas, Nevada, home of the big game. Money. How you doing? Good, winning money. Doyle needs a hug, I can tell. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey. The preceding was a presentation from PokerStars.com.